It's official now. I'm getting asked the same question every day. Why do you follow Islam? How do you prove that Islam is the truth? Unfortunately, most of the people who are asking me this question are expecting me to give them like a magical answer. Like, you know what? You have two minutes. You have to respond to this question. If I'm not convinced, that's it. Then Islam is false. Which tells you more about them than about Islam itself. If this question is coming from an atheist, an atheist would say, why are you following Islam even though science proved that God doesn't exist? If it's coming from a Christian, a Christian would say, why are you following Islam even though Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, didn't come, didn't preach his message until 600 years after Jesus. So, you know, the older is better, I think. There is some logic there. Uh, or someone would say, a Prophet Muhammad is not a good moral character, so he is a false prophet. Or Islam is preaching, worshipping another God called Allah, who is this and that, which is different than our God. Or a lot of you know, cliche stuff like Islam is violent, Islam is immoral, stuff that you hear in the media. They just keep repeating it and then ask the big question, why are you following Islam? How do you know that Islam is the truth? Now you have one minute. If you can't prove it, then you lose, you know? And because there is no way, no way to fill the gap between complete ignorance and knowledge in one minute, I can't really respond to this question with information. I usually respond to this question with a question. I ask the person, what do you know about Islam? And most of the time, they know nothing or they know maybe one or two things. Like literally everything that they know about Islam can be said in like one minute. And then I say, okay, so based on this less than one minute of information, you already decided that Muhammad, peace be upon him, is a false prophet, or you already decided that God doesn't exist based on one minute of information, and you're not even sure if it's correct or not. And they're like, yeah, that's enough for me, and I already decided that it is illogical and it's not truth, based on one minute. If you already decided, and if this is enough for you to make a decision, why are you asking me this question? Why are you trying to gain information after deciding that it's false? It doesn't matter what I say, even if I provide evidence for you, it will not matter because you already made your decision. So you're here to waste your time and my time, and I usually get away from this conversation. So where exactly is the problem here? I understood after hundreds of conversations with different people that there are two versions of Islam out there. There is the real Islam, which we all learned from books that I've been reading for more than 10 years and I'm still a student. And there is the fake Islam that you get from, you know, a scene in a movie, a scene in a TV series, maybe fake news, maybe internet weird articles that, that has no reference. The people usually read the title of the article without the details, you know, follow TikTok shorts, YouTube shorts. They don't have enough time, for some reason, to watch full educational videos or to read books. So, people who are spreading this fake news, spreading this fake Islam, lying about Islam, they know that people don't read. They know that there is no way for them to make sure that this information is correct or not. They will just believe it and take it as it is. If you keep repeating a lie over and over and over and over and over again, it will become a truth. Especially if you're talking to ignorant people. So same ignorant people, after they are filled with lies, when they come to me and ask me, okay, then what is the truth? You have one minute. No, the truth doesn't come in one minute. If you really care about the truth, you have to dedicate time for it and to put effort into learning. We decided to make a series of YouTube videos that will cover the following. Number one, what is the real Islam and how is it different from the fake Islam you get from the media? Number two, more than 100 reasons that you should believe in God. More than 100 proofs that God exists and Islam is his only religion, no other religions. I promise more than 100 proofs in this series. Number three, how Islam is the only solution for all the problems that we are facing as humanity right now in the world. Number four, that all these Islamophobes in the television and on YouTube and on social media are lying to you and are lying to you on purpose 
So we will debunk all of their lies until no one, after watching this, will ever listen to them again. Number five, we will discuss why these people are spending all of this money and all of this effort to steer you away from the truth and to keep you ignorant as much as they can. What is behind them? What is their motivation to spend all of this wealth into countering the spread of Islam? And why do they hate that Islam is the fastest growing religion? And by the way, it's not from birth rate only. It's by birth rate and by conversion. So if you are from the people who want a magic pill in one minute to prove that God exists, this is not for you. But if you really care about the truth and you want to put effort and time to listen and know and then judge, then this is for you. Uh, we will upload a video maybe two times per week, maybe three times as much as we can. Wait until the end of the series first and then tell me what you think. And if you have any questions, of course, write it down. And for Muslim brothers and sisters, we need your help to spread the words of God and to spread our da'wah project to as much people as we can. Unfortunately, this is how the YouTube algorithm works. As much as you engage with the video with likes, comments, share, whatever, as much as the YouTube algorithm will suggest it to other people. So if you want to help spread the da'wah message, help us out by engaging with our videos. Thanks. See you in the next episode, inshallah. Salam alaikum.